It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. Everyone's just trying to tame if the beast. I don't beast. get that boy back safe. Um, she, she'll kill us all. I know, but <laughs> she will. looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine. But, well, of course, Marston's scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Now we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. What a Good great day, timing. fine people. Mr. Vanderlind, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. <laughs> huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan. Good old boys. Nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker. Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, huh. and go and live like human beings someplace else. I wouldn't have expected that. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. <laughs> like, there's no way these two think that I they think should work. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake. All of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Oh. Place is well hidden. <laughs> yeah, North, okay, that's a good right place. Make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back. And we'll get gone. Rest of you get packing. Come on, John. Okay. This is crazy. Okay, okay, okay. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot off of I'm on it. It's I was thinking I would really love to visit my uh my tent right now doesn't look like I'm gonna have that option unfortunately so that's fine let's just see if there's anything here that we need I thought we was in a hurry. not surprised that we're picking up and moving again to be honest but I think it is for the better Over with 
Uh, yes, we can. I am preparing, which every responsible cowboy would do if they were responsible. But since you guys clearly are not, I will be the one to prepare everything. Thanks. By grabbing all the rum <laughs> and alcohol that I possibly can. Anything over in this little pile? No, we're good. Okay. I've lost my hat. Bit pissed. I'm just going to see if it lets me do this anyway. Nope. Okay. We're going out in full grease ball mode. Could be worse. Let me clean out the last provisions over here as well. That salted off that salted awful isn't uh, isn't that terrible of a thing to have for us. The candy's okay for Deadeye. Chewing tobacco's good for Deadeye, as we know. Alright, let's go. And out by St. Denis is where the, that Catherine okay, Braithwaite said the, me. I know the, way. the guy who yeah, has Jack boy. is, so. I guess that's probably why we picked that location. Wait, did he not, oh, did we not feed him that? That'll do. All right, let's ride. On me. Try to keep up. Try to avoid trees. Take it from me, the expert. Not good for horse or mental health. Come on. He's not going to ride with me. This is what I'm saying. Yep. <laughs> He's too slow. Yeah, okay, boy. It's gonna be all right, John. We should be going yeah, let's for go. Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail. We're at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew them right to us. I mean, how many people we killed in the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Hosea, too. Get involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, I actually Marshall, agree with John on this one. I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davey, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. All right. Should be just down this path. To Some the dissension there. in the ranks. What was I talking about? You're talking about right Dutch. Now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. Rightly so. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't this seen place? Yet. Come on. <laughs> the sooner we get this done, the better. This is Letty and I, right? We did like a. You sure this place is empty? Bunch of work I on the dining. Sure what the hell is nothing. this, John? Right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. <laughs> yeah. 
never know. Yeah, see? Still some here. I can I knew it. You think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. We can clean this place up. It could work for us. What the hell is it you want? Sorry, boys. This is ours now. I don't know what he threw. I should have kicked it. Oh, here we go. I knew you'd come. Soon enough. You are some of the coward. Like you. The bounty hunters. The freedmen. The carpet beggars. Oh, no. The army of criminals who stole our He's going to do it himself, I bet. Watch this. I survived them all. Our fight will live on. Whoa. I knew. Oh, that's crazy. Wow. Not as honorable. Fair. How's it looking up there? <laughs> I think that's it's messy. A lot. Didn't even have to shoot the last one. Good. Come help me with this, will you? Okay. What are you doing, Arthur? Do you just called me two seconds ago? I'm checking out things. There's cigarettes here, but I don't think I can grab them. Oh, hello. What the? Little gold nugget, not a big deal. We have a bunch of valuables actually that we could and should be selling. We're full up on cocaine gum. I'm coming. And we said we were only only going to use this place for a couple days, right? Give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Oh yeah, we. They need to be sheltered. Follow me. This is definitely something they've never seen before. So. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Feed the gators. There was a time when we were hunting alligators. I think I cut most of it out, but I was trying to use a dead body to attract them out of the water. And, uh... Didn't work so hot. Oh, look, there's one. Okay. I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan. Guide them in. All right, see you soon. I hope. I'm on body disposal. Okay. The 
They're all upstairs, right? These ones? Yeah. Well, how did his... How did his body get there? It's funny how, like, sometimes you just get a feel for things and the way that things are likely to pan out. Like, coming up here, I felt, well, pretty good chance that it's not just going to be totally empty. And then with him, as soon as he didn't shoot us right away, and he started reaching for his gun, methodically loading it, you're like, okay, well, this dude's gone. Whoa. There's one on land. Okay, so we don't have to pull out each of them. Welcome home, all you, to uh, my humble abode. We got fine living. You know the corpses and the alligators, it's paradise. <laughs> I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. I really what? enjoy the yes. idea of us like have a word with you? constantly moving <clears throat> around, now. having new places. Come on, Arthur. I wonder what that was about. Can I have a word with you? And he's just like, nope. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on. Oh, I and see. She okay. wants to talk. He's gonna talk about it. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, Which means where are we going? No, things are not okay. Take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? Few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back, whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloon. Okay. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, We'll need more money. Obviously. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. I'm pretty sure that we've come through St. Denis, yeah. We've come through here at one point. Uh, you know what it was? I think we found that guy who was injured, some random dude. And we took him to a doctor or something. I think that was in St. Denis. I think. I was almost head on collision. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. It's cool. And we had noticed when we rode through it that it was like very different feeling. Always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. All right. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. We'll definitely... Ooh, what are we, chapter four? Saint Denis. There we go. Awesome.
Okay, so what are these marking for us here? Just the places we need to investigate, I guess. Looking for Bronte? Yeah, okay. New horses available to purchase in the Scarlet Meadows and St. Denis Stables. You know what? We're right here. How do we get into these stables? <laughs> We've got cash, so I mean... Might be nice to have a third ride. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Elite. We could buy an Arabian. Beautiful. The Turkoman's not bad. Type is superior. Arabian, black coat, male. You know what? Let's treat ourselves. What should we call this guy? We could stick with the Mr. Theme. And, uh, in honor of our Good friend, and a lot of you had suggested this a long time ago. Mr. Roach it is. Well worth the price. <laughs> Mr. Walker, Mr. Chucky, don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you. Wait, what did these guys sell for? Twelve dollars? Zero dollars? <sighs> wow. Oh. Mr. Roach, 525 Pardon. still. Uh, let's quickly check out a couple of things here. His grooming. Be sure to let everyone know where you got this nag groom. Okay. The dreadlock look is interesting. I am partial to the mohawks. Maybe we do like a long, a long white haired to really contrast with the dark black. Yep. Yeah, good looking horse now. Thank you. And then same thing with the tail. Got a fancy streak, huh? Maybe we'll do a braided white tail. Kind of cool. Service-wise, Fuller stores all, all cores and yields gold cores we don't really need. Let me just check the saddle. You know, a horse can tell when you're using a cheaper saddle. Is that right? We could go white again. Smoke and charcoal is pretty cool there. Let's treat ourselves to the most expensive. That's a good choice. High quality. See if we can match the uh, the bedroll as well. That's the same one I use too. Pretty nice. close. I can't tell you how many times I use that one. Where's I don't even see where the blankets are showing. Hey there. I can't see this at all. I'm gonna skip that. The horn, I think we've got yeah, the the uh, well well redemption the horn. I'm fine with it. Oh yeah, that's a smart choice for your saddle. Oh yeah, we're going all up. Plus this gives uh, speed and acceleration. It's well worth the price. That's nice. That's the same one I use too. Upgraded saddlebag, yeah, it's time. Go black there. That's a good choice. High quality. Look at this. Mr. Roach, holy frick. You look good. We're full up on all of this. Good choice. All right. Come back anytime. Oh, oh, oh. Look at him. Oh, this is a beautiful horse. This is a beautiful horse. I'm thrilled. If you 
couldn't tell. We gotta become buddies though. We got a lot of work to do, you and I, Mr. Roach. We got Mr. Chucky. Oh, I can't go through there. I'm gonna have to go, I'm gonna have to stick to the main streets in this city. Oh, whoa, whoa. It's hard to control him. Do I really have to give the blind man money? Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Is someone there? I got you. Hello? There you go, oh, friend. Bless you, mister. Truly, you're a saint. <laughs> yes, sir. There should be more people in the world like you. I know. God bless. We steal it back. Move already. Yeah, I'm trying to just Please. get on my horse. Can you spare some money for a blind man? Okay. <laughs> it's gonna take a bit to get to where we were comfort wise. the others, but he's noticeably quicker. Oh, that's the Gavin guy. He was in, uh, he was in that previous area as well. Rhodes, maybe? I was looking for Gavin. Hey there. Ain't gonna lie. That's a fine old nag you got there. you damn right. Hey, partner. How you keep it? Howdy. That's real pretty. <laughs> Out of the way. So this place, what? We're just closed? Is that the problem? I'm thinking so. What time is it right now? People are outside waiting. Now I heard it all. 7.20 in the morning. Sure. All right, boy. All right. We'll come back. Watch out. Oh, dude. That's not my fault. Are you serious? You're all right, boy. That's not my fault. The horse just took off. After not taking off. We'll hide out here. <laughs> Nobody look at me. <laughs> Stop looking at me, guys. We already have a bounty on us. We're in here for two minutes. Accidentally run over a guy. I hope he. Did. I don't know if he died. I guess we'll find out when the bounty's applied. This is locked too. Oh, due to my recent crimes. <sighs> All right, what's the damage? How about you get moving? I'm going in. Hot shaves and haircuts. for a trim a little bit so what do you need well i did oh look at this left part fade yeah see now this this is what we should have been doing long ago oh i kind of like it buzzed ooh 
Heisenberg. <laughs> That's an interesting look, actually. Oh, we can go totally clean cut. Like I always say, your hair is your first impression. Yeah. Okay, I like this. I like this, I think. This is gonna blow people's minds. Thank you. Okay. Paul made that. Absolute. Okay, we can just adjust length, fine. We haven't been to a barber before, so... Now, oh, mustache styles. Guys, this is, this is happening. We're gonna bring the chops down to like a three. Four? A man's whiskers Let's can go make four. or break his whole deportment, you know. Four now as that well. Isn't half bad, huh? And then mustache style. I think I kinda like natural to be honest. The other ones are a bit not my thing. What's the double fork chin? I guess if we had longer chin hair, it would be better to see. We can like really grow these out. No, I think this is good. This is good. This feels good. Whiskers are all the fashion now, from what I hear. All right, you're ready to go. Thank you. The chicks are gonna dig this big time. We're in the city now. We got city hair. The saloon looks like it's locked, but maybe it's because of the crime thing. And I guess maybe it only opens. I don't know. It doesn't matter. We'll pay this thing off. I mean, actually, I don't even know if we have a bounty. I didn't notice it come up, but... Eh. We're okay. Mapping out this area. I'll be right back, dude. Don't do anything crazy. Be with you momentarily. Nothing like a fresh start. Not yeah, see? Service? I don't even have any bounties. Thanks, Mister. I did. I I wasn't sure if it popped up or not. I guess it was just because the crime was recent Come on, that we couldn't boy. go there. So. Okay, so this it looks like it's closed for whatever reason. Uh, we'll check this one. Still wouldn't mind getting my cowboy hat back, but Hey friend, come here a minute. Trust me. You want to hear this. I promise. You gonna want to hear this. You got me. Okay. Hey, you interested in some quick money? I am talking real quick. Yeah, now it's too open here, but um this... <laughs> follow me and we'll check. Oh, uh, we're so dumb. We're about to get ambushed. All right, so here's what I have in mind. Shocking. <laughs> How do you find these damn idiots? You can just tell with some folk. Come on, let's see what he has and dump him somewhere. Is he gonna actually take my money? If he takes all of my money, I am going to be livid. Health core is empty. Fine. Brand new haircut. Getting ambushed in the back alley as we anticipated. Holy moly, dude. That pisses me right off, honestly. I can't believe it. My horse is gone. Okay, now I'm, now I'm pissed. You've gone and done it. I can check this area now. 
Excuse me, I'm trying to find a man named Bronte. You know the name? Bronte? No, don't think so. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Hey there. Have you ever heard of a man called Angelo Bronte? Hmm, no. But fancy names like that? Maybe try the Bastille Saloon. Opposite the park with the Quincy Harris statue. All right. Okay, thank you. Looks like that's where we were going anyway. Look, see how it's closed? I don't know what that's about. We're going to try and go in anyway. Huh. Whoa. Stick him up, cowboy. Do you recognize me, Dutch? <laughs> Funny, <laughs> right so, after we get mobbed, so, too, it's like we would so be on high alert. Here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead. I've heard the same. I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? Mr. Cool. Back here and on. Mr. Slick now. Well, hello. 